So um, welcome uh, to ART 192B, Advanced Photoshop slash Digital Imaging for the fall 2021 semester. Today, I want to talk about your first assignment, which is to do the what I call the Invisible Man project. It's not one that I developed, but it's one that's available. And there are lots of examples online. This is one that um, one of my students did several semesters ago, Jacob um, um, Kopi. Um, and you can see that start with an existing photograph. It can be one of your own, or it can be one that you download from the internet. Um, and uh, once you get a high resolution image, one that will preferably fit in an eight by 10 format, either vertical or horizontal, that would be ideal. If it's a little bit smaller, that's okay, but I would prefer something that size, minimum 200 pixels per inch. And then what you do is you're going to, it, it'll need to have people in it. You're going to remove the parts where there's skin. And then you're going to have to make up areas that have been hidden by skin to make it look like it's three-dimensional volumetric person. So this is his example that he did. If we look at the very end here, I did a simple Google search for invisible man in Photoshop samples. And there are lots of them. And you can see that some of them, the areas that they would have to complete are quite extensive. Now, in many cases, the background, like the wall, are pretty simple. So that would make it easy to erase, but then you have to work on filling in the blanks. So here's another one. And zoom in a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to switch here and look at just um, images more. Uh, I want high res images is what I would like. So let's look at this one. And you can see that the hand, now the hand that's right here, that should be gone too. But notice that they had to create the inside of the hat and the inside of the collar. And the background is um, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, there are more others that are a little bit more complex. We can look at this one, the fellow playing the guitar. As you can see, there's the before and after. Now, to create a little bit more um, realistic hollowed effect and the pant legs, I think, would be the, oh, my only criticism, but otherwise, um, really done beautifully. So that's your goal, is to do that. Now, there are a variety of ways to approach it. It's entirely up to you based on your knowledge of Photoshop. So that's what I'm testing. This is kind of your first test since this is an advanced class. What I have provided for you, if we go to um, Canvas, and you can find this online, but if we go to um, courses here, and yours would be Advanced Photoshop 192B, and it doesn't matter which one you have uh, available to you, and you go to modules. Okay. Um, and we go down here. What we have is the Invisible Man um, video tutorial. If we click it on lesson one here, that should take us to. No, I don't think it does. It's OK. I may have goofed on that one. So anyway, if we go to my handouts page, let's do that instead. Let's go back here. Let's go to my handouts page. And if I scroll down to the Photoshop handouts, you can see here's the Invisible Man handout right here. Um, you can use images from the internet. 
remember that when you get them from the internet, they're going to be 72 pixels per inch, but make sure that it's large enough so that when you change the resolution to 200 to 300 pixels per inch, it fits in about an 8 by 10 format. You do not have to worry about um, printing it. Um, there may be other sources for stock photography that you can look to. Um, again, as I said, you can take your own photograph, but that's there. Um, you don't need to turn in a printed copy. And obviously this was done a while ago. You don't need to save this on a data disk. You're gonna upload it to our shared Google Drive folder. So the other place though that I had available for you is, let me move this and move this up here. And I think I may have put it in the other folder. So I goofed. Um, oh, here it is. Here's the Invisible Man tutorial right here. So if, I, if you click on here, what this will do is it will bring up a video that I um, gleaned from YouTube. And you can watch it here, or you can watch it in YouTube. And it gives you a step-by-step -step and with some really kind of funky music of how to do this. So if I click here, they may call me on this for doing this. So I'm gonna just play a couple of seconds of it. Um, maybe I won't, because I wanna make sure that I can post this for the other people to see. Skip ads, because this jumped over to YouTube. You know what, I'm gonna pause it and I'm just gonna say in YouTube, I'm gonna pause this. And so that you can see that there are other examples in here. Um, I'm gonna click under a search in YouTube and just say invisible man tutorials. Visible Man, Photoshop tutorials. And there are a couple of them. Okay, I'll get that. And here we go. There's one for there, there's one here. Um, there are several of them. So depending on how complex you want to get, um, there are some really good tutorials. Some are quite lengthy. You can see that this one is almost um, an hour. This one is just, you know, some are just three minutes long. You know, this one's a half an hour long. The one that I posted on my um, canvas is about 10 minutes. And again, they will each show you different ways of doing this. So, I'm going to go back to my website where I have the example from my students' work. Um, so let me go back a couple of times here. I'm just going to put in here because I don't want to get this. If I post this on YouTube because it's probably the other videos are copyright protected, they will probably be um, um, flagged and I will not be permitted show my video. So I'm going to go back to, come on. And let's go back to Kirk's classes. And let's Look at it there, and let's look at the example. So, Brandon, um, do you have any questions for me? And otherwise, that will be it for today. That's all we need. Unless there is there something in um, is there something in Photoshop you would like me to review for you? No? Okay, so um, do lessons 13 through 15 at your leisure. But do make sure that you get them done by the end of the semester. 
And then for right now, focus on doing a bang up job on the Invisible Man project. Okay. So that's all I have to cover. And so you're it today. No one else is attending. So I can go ahead and I can. Okay. So if we're good, we're good. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording.